All schools are closed statewide, bars and restaurants are closed, there is mandatory social distancing, and keeping track of all of this is stressful, especially for families with kids. One thing we specialize in here at Detroit Public Television is kids programming, and we are community partners with educators around the state to help bridge the learning gap. We are mobilizing now to help all of the teachers, parents, and caregivers home with the millions of kids during this outbreak. With me is Tara Hardy. She is our education leader here at DPTV. It's good to see you, Tara. You too. I know you have been busy this uh, this last about yes. 10 days or so, but go ahead for people who don't really know that DPTV has this outreach and this education wing. What do we do uh, as a station to, uh, to, to work with educators and kids? We always focus on children zero to eight, and as a, as a public media station, we find our role to be to focus on the adults that surround those children. With the new um, pandemic happening, we've decided to expand up through 12th grade. We've been putting our education team to work and sifting through all of the great PBS trusted resources that we have available and, and putting them into age categories and different um, academic um, places and, and we're putting out a daily newsletter every day. We have been listening to teachers and parents that they're getting bombarded with information left and right. If you've got more than one kid, you've got more than one teacher. Yeah, you're trying to balance. And you're trying to balance it all. So we were trying to come up with a one-stop shop um, with information, like I said, that is trusted, that's vetted through by um, professionals. And we, we send it out daily uh, the night before mm -hmm. so that you have something to do in the morning. And then in the evenings, we've created some messaging for parents about different topics like self-care and uh, we're all in this together. We need to just breathe a little bit mm -hmm. um, and, and realize that it's, it's really good not to be alone at this time. Even though we're isolated physically, we can connect using devices and, and whatnot. I think as parents, it's hard to try to balance every day. And for me, I found it's almost kind of hour to hour because things are changing and kids yeah. have a lot of questions. What are teachers and caregivers um, talking to you or specifically when you start to try to get all this information together? What are some of the stories that you're hearing? I'm hearing overwhelmed. I'm hearing what's what ifs. That's it seems to be anxiety is a very natural feeling. Stress is a very natural feeling. None of us have done this before. Um, and it's okay to say that to kids. It's okay to say, I really don't know. Let's find out answers together. Um, but kids are really needing to feel safe at this time. Us as adults want to feel safe. Uh, the most we can do to make our kids feel safe and to say to them, this is what I know. And this is, it's okay to say, I don't know. Um, teachers are working nonstop to try to convert things to, um, cyber or virtual mm -hmm. um, and parents I think are taking on a huge um, responsibility to try to be a teacher and a parent so we're trying to foster that relationship but also to to tell parents you're not your job is not to be the teacher your job is to be the parent um, and we want to give you activities and we want to give you ideas but first and utmost your kids need to feel safe and they need to feel a new routine and, and so we're seeing that from a lot of parents saying, yes. what should my routine be? And, and yes. from 10 to 11, we're doing this, 11 to 12, we're doing this. But there's also a, a bit of a gap for people who maybe don't have the resources, who don't have the connectivity, who aren't online, who aren't being able to take advantage of, of some of the tools that are out there. What about some of those parents and families who sometimes rely on something like public television to Absolutely. be able to help them out? Absolutely. That's, we, we have them definitely in our minds as we're pushing out resources. Um, I have a page on Facebook that's Tara at Detroit Public television we're finding that people usually have access to phones um, and then we're, we're working with we have um, spent lots of time in the community before now really developing relationships with with teachers and parents and organizations and that community serve families groups, absolutely good partners. so we're relying on them as well we have had a phone call at noon every day since this has started with superintendents and organizations that are serving families and we're all working together and they're sending us stuff and we're vetting through it so that we can just bring simple and um, easy to do stuff at home. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of that and all of the resources that we can find. We will have all of those resources available at OneDetroitPBS.org. And make sure to tune into the PBS NewsHour right after our show here at 8 Thursday night for a coronavirus COVID-19 special report.